Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as a recording of this. It is Saturday, July 22nd, 2023. There's a car way over there in that parking lot about 100 yards away. Alarm is going off. It's hot and being it's honky. I'm heading from Pueblo, Colorado, two hours north to Lakewood, I believe it is. Lakewood, Colorado, just on the outskirts of Denver, to the reopening, the re-grand opening, the soft opening of Casa Bonita a place that I have been to, a roadside attraction, eatery that has cliff divers and a variety of other things. I am excited. It's a two hour commute. Heading up there now, taking my mom, my dad, my sister and her husband are also in town. And we can't miss this. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall we? Putting a little fuel in the tank. Price of gas here, side Pueblo. Three dollars, 97 cents a gallon. Okay, I made the commute up to Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater. Just trying to find parking, see what we can see. We're heading over to the restaurant. All right, so that was a no-go. Having a concert tonight, so we're not allowed to go to the amphitheater. We're gonna head back down. So evidently when they're having a concert at the Red Rocks Amphitheater, they close the parking area off at two, and right now it's 410. Pull them now to the very tiny town of Morrison, right at the base of Red Rocks. All right, I have returned to the one and only Casa Benita. I never thought I'd step foot inside here again, but they're reopened, kinda sorta. No, there's already a lot of people out front. Right next to Adventure Dental, Vision and Orthodontics, Casa Bonita. A staple of Denver for a long time and made very famous through South Park in an episode of South Park. In fact, two creators of South Park are the one that invested millions of dollars to reopen this, to have its doors reopened. And they have not completely opened. They're kind of doing a soft opening. All right, Ryan, tell me how we ended up getting a reservation for this. Well, we moved to Colorado, and in like two days, they were on CBS News, and I put my email on the mailing list. And, and you were one of the later, lucky ones. Five days later. Five days later, you got the email, the confirmation, and we got a six o'clock time slot to go in, and that was it. Yeah, one, one email. A lot of people put in multiple emails. I did one time, one email. You got a table of five. There's five of us. Side. Cliffside table of five. Yep. I think you're the first person I know that's even been able to get in here. Everybody like, says it's been so difficult to get in. People are making such a big fuss. I'm excited about it. I know you're excited about it. It's great. And you've never been in here before. Nope. Never heard about it until South Park. And then my mom, my sister, and my dad, I think they're about to have their minds blown. And the fountain has been replaced and the clock is working. Again, we have a six o'clock time slot, but we got here really early. Let's see if we can maybe get in at five when they open. The water is very blue. Yeah, to be honest, I, I did a couple of videos here years ago. There was nobody here but me and the cliff divers and then the waiter and the cooks. All right, we asked if we could get in early. They opened right at five. They said not for 15 minutes before your allotted time slot. So it's 4.45 now. At 5.45, 15 minutes before our 6 p.m. time slot, we will be able to go in. So we're gonna go over to a local park and just kind of waste some time over there and mill around. Located in the same town as Casa Bonita, Lakewood. This is the little visitor center and the Heritage Park. Kind of looks like an old theater. It's kind of neat, they have some old sign advertisements on the ground. No beer sold near here. Sign advertisement in 1920. And then it just has the different highways. They transfer some of the old buildings from other areas down to this little strip here. You see the mountains off in the distance. It's like this neon for the Estes Motel is lit up. It also shows where the Estes Motel used to be back in 1950. And there's the sign there, where it used to be. And shows the sign here now. I think I just heard thunder over there. Oh yeah, you see it raining. 
Ethel's Beauty Salon, 88 cent variety. The clock up there, however. No, the clock is working. 5.05, the clock's working too. Definitely one of my favorite little spots here in Lakewood. I like when anything like this is salvaged and saved. This whole diner here had steaks and sandwiches. This was an old gas station, Peerless Gas Station. This old pump house, dated 1924, sitting right here. Next to the water tank, there's a ton of grasshoppers in here. It's a grasshopper haven. Hopping in that grass. Oh, bunny. Bunny going. <laughs> bunny over there. Hello, bunny. Little bunny rabbit. There's an old Model A. A John Deere tractor there, right here through the fence. And while walking around here, I'll show the photo from earlier before we headed over here to this park about 40, 40 minutes ago or so. The family in front of the now reopened roadside attraction restaurant. And just like that, we've returned. It's like deja vu. We're just here, 45 minutes ago. Checking in here underneath the tents here. We'll get our, we're gonna get a wristband. Are you ready? It's happening. When you go inside, you'll see a host in blue. Let them know you have cliff signs. I'll redirect you accordingly. If you are planning on having one of our world famous margaritas or other cocktails, you'll see my friend at the table to get your IDs checked. Alright, that's the ID checking spot. Alright, I made it through the little checkpoint here. Going underneath the chandeliers. And into family dining. And I have decided to get this little souvenir. They said, do you want a margarita? I said, I don't want a margarita, but I want this Casa Benita wristband. So I got I got one. Going in. For the safety, no Heatleys or roller shoes allowed in the restaurant. I cannot believe I am back inside this place after all these years. It is freaking, look at this. It is happening. Oh, yes. All right, we are now heading in. There's a couple things that said I couldn't film. I cannot film the puppet show. What was the other thing I can't film? Inside the theater. Inside the theater and in the puppet show. But everything else is free game. The employee walking in said I could film whatever I want. Just no puppets and no theater. And being taken to our cliffside table. Never had a cliffside table before. And they have a band in here playing and entertaining. Yeah, it is a whole vibe in here. Look at the waterfall over here. And this is our table. Cliffside, if you will. Even though I think that would be cliffside, but we're close to cliffside. Pretty close. Oh, is that a, who is that? Man Bear Pig. Hello. Man Bear Pig. Man Bear Pig. Right. We saved a seat for you. That's his dad. This we is Oh. Oh. Yeah, hello. Have a seat. Good to see you. It's good to be back here. Help yourself. You guys having fun? Yes. <laughs> what should we order? What's good on the menu? What's your What's the What's your go-to? The Sopa Pia. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So you raised the flag for the Sopapillas? Yes. Ah, okay. All right. We're also training to be a diver. You're going to be a cliff diver? Yeah. Oh, he got his bathing suit on there. Very nice. He's not ready for the deep end yet, though. What time will you be diving? Oh, swim lessons first. Gotcha. <laughs> will we see any cliff divers today? Will there be any cliff divers? There will be. All right. Over there. All right. Thanks for the heads up. Nice to meet you. That was interesting, right? Did you, you didn't know you were going to see that today. That's what I look like when I wake up in the morning. 
So the cliff diving is going to happen right over there. So was that a South Park reference? Was that Man Bear Pig? Man Bear Pig Child Gorilla. Man Bear Pig's Child Gorilla Bear Pig. So half man, half gorilla, half pig? I don't know how that works out. Maybe I'm confused. Half gorilla, half man, half bear. True. So this is the meal options. You get seven different meal options here. Enchiladas, carnita taco, chicken mole, beef, chili relleno, ceviche, taco salad. But you also get a limited chips and salsa and sopapillas, which is what we were just instructed on what to get. This is the chips and salsa here. Really they're making an announcement. And this is like a hummus right here. And Ryan and Faith ended up getting a margarita. Everybody else got water. So. Seating is limited for something. A show is going to be happening, I suppose. They also have some mocktails, some non-alcoholic cocktails. They have a horchata, which is great. It's kind of like a liquid churro. Probably won't get that, though, because that's probably got an, an amazing amount of sugar. Probably don't need that. But we also have, if we don't talk about cocoa, blueberry, pineapple, and lemon. And also a woolly bully, which is a blueberry, lime, and orange. And they also have beer and wine and all that kind of stuff. I didn't, uh, yeah, this comes with a soda. The, the meal comes with a soda. Oh, the meal comes with a drink? Yeah. I didn't know that. Is that what they were Yeah, doing? it looks like they have redone the lights up here. They've redone some of the palm trees. And while I was perusing around over here, so we're sitting right over there, the cliff divers come out, got our first cliff diving show where they were dancing off the side. We're not dancing, but they do like a little dance up on the ledge, and then they dove off into the water and climbed around on the cliffs. All right, coming up fast. Very quick service here. Look here. Look at that, that refried bean platter there. Taco salad. Yeah, when I was here five or six years ago, I got the taco salad. That's kind of what they're known for. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. There we go, this is the ancha cheese enchilado platter with something called Christmas sauce, which is a mixture of red and green sauce. Refried beans, a little salad. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, we're still waiting on our sopapillas. Guacamole. Mom gets extra guacamole. Okay, I thought it was just going to be uh, just like one or two enchiladas, but they brought a lot. What is this? That's the meat. That's the meat for your taco salad. <laughs> What'd you get? I got uh, Swerno beef. I just Three. took mom's avocado. All right. And the food service is pretty quick because I think this just comes off the same tray downstairs that anyone that's getting the non-dining table. So we were all just kind of describing it as like a glorified cafeteria food. Yeah. Kind of like cafeteria food. But it's not bad. Glorious. Glorious. Glorious cafeteria food. I'm not picky. You're not picky? Yeah. I mean, I like it. What do you think, Dad? You like it? You ever had a taco salad and a crusty bowl like that before? You said that reminds you of roast? Need a bowl. The meat, my beef roast. Beef roast. I love beef roast. Now my enchiladas have no meat in it. Meatless cheese, but the sauce they put on is very spicy. Everyone else says they're spicy. Their sauce is spicy also, it's got a little kick to it. Right, we're wondering why we didn't get any sopapillas yet, because we didn't put the umbrella up, or not the umbrella, but we put the flag up. So hopefully they bring us some, we haven't had any yet. All right, as I'm walking around looking at some of the kind of theming, I'm kind of wondering what they redid out of the, the money they put into here. Kind of fix it up, relit it, and as the lights are starting to dim, they're getting ready to do another, getting ready to do another, another show right now, another diving show. This would be diving show round number two. So we've seen one, this is the second one. They're doing a couple different dives they didn't do in the first one, which is pretty awesome. Always good to see different dives while we're eating cliffside at the newly opened, soft open, if you will, Casa Bonita, South Park, that made, South Park made famous. And thanks to those two South Park creators, it's back. And in that time, I believe the bread has showed up to the table. They've arrived? Yes. There they are. She's pulling your mom. Oh, mom's already got one there. <laughs> She's already devoured. That's not, that's oh, that's the taco salad. Oh. I thought she was already chowing down on the sopapilla. 
Yeah. Kind of the same. So what exactly are these? Just bread? And they got honey, honey sauce on it. Honey sauce on it? Clover honey. Clover honey. So papillas. So it's like almost like hollowed out bread. Sweet bread. It puffs up when you cook it. Oh. Is this like the nachos? Is it like unlimited? So papillas? Probably used, so. It used to be, I think, but I've been hearing that it's not. Well, they got um, the flag. We'll just put the flag back up. It's like only like a couple dollars for another batch. Right? Yeah, we'll have to get more so papillas. Well, depending on how good they are. It used to be bottomless. Bottomless so papillas. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it is. Yeah, we need Matt and Trey to step in and. Come on, Matt. Come on, Trey. Give us bottomless soap with pee. There's already honey on it. My sister says there's already honey on it. You need the honey. Give me a squeeze of your honey. So much. It's a little better with the honey. It's like a sweet bread. It's like an elephant ear at a fair. An elephant ear. So it's like a cafe lunch. And fair food. <laughs> Casa Benita is back. You're biting into the world famous sopapilla. Sopapilla. What's your first thought? A very first sopapilla bite. Yeah, what's just the first thought or your first bite? Okay, that's the second bite. What's your thought on your second bite? All right, the rumors are untrue. It is unlimited bottomless sopapillas. They just, you just brought more to us. I asked you to. You just simply asked. That's the key. You got the hack. You ask. <laughs> and we all enjoyed our meal and heading out to check out the rest of the property. And here is where all the sopapillas are picked up and all the servers grab them, take them to their tables. I think before you have to come here to purchase them, but now, the server just take them to your table. It's kind of like all included in the price per ticket. Yeah, it feels kind of unusual to be back in here after all this time. Again, I never thought I would be able to be back inside this place. Now I'm back. Here's the wishing well. Oh, I can make a wish? Oh. Oh, wow. What do the coins say? All right, I'm gonna make a wish. I have made a wish. Down in. Something just said something to me at the wishing well. The wishing well talked to me. The wishing well just said something to me. He's got coins. You gotta get a coin from him. Oh, there you go. Make a wish. Now listen, listen closely. Oh, there's a the face down there. Look. There's a face. It's almost like a fortune teller. It's like a fortune teller gorilla. Hopefully you have good luck coming to you soon. I mean, I did say I wish we could get granted, so... Awesome. Did you wish to be a future cliff diver? I know. I know what your dreams are. They're going to happen. They're going to come true. All right. Keep, keep dreaming. <laughs> you got the form down perfectly. All right, and here is the puppet show, but I was told I'm not allowed to film the puppet show, so I gotta turn the camera off by going in the puppet show. All right, I gotta say, the, the puppet show was amazing. This guy's up here playing the guitar. Kind of remind me of Team America a little bit. A lot of good humor in there. Obviously more family-friendly humor than that, but it definitely kind of had that same kind of vibe with some of the characters. I don't know, you just gotta kind of see it, but the they don't want anyone. They don't want anybody. Sorcero is now seating in the, the theater magic show. at the I don't think you're supposed to film the magic show either. But they have the green salsa, the green chili salsa. They got all kind of merch. I gotta buy a shirt. I need an appropriate shirt. And this is what you raise the flag for the sopapillas. You can take one of those home with you. A good assortment of t-shirts. I'm gonna check this on the way out. Whatever I buy in 
I'll show towards the end, but they also have hats and sweatshirts and blankets and pillows and stickers. Colorful cats. Okay, now up into the hideouts where there are snakes. Bart's hideout, right? There's some warning signs here as well. Oh, look at these skeletons right here. They're like talking. Give me a minute. Do not enter. Enter at your own risk. Cat is being very daring and going into Bart's hideout. Huge Here's monster inside. Look at this. Skeletons. Ooh, you guys doing alright? You guys have been here for a long time. Probably as long as the place has been open. Bart's hideout. That's going into the darkness. Hey, look, he's going in here. Into the darkness. Hopefully nothing pops out at us in here. Oh, big spider web up top there. Yes, look at this. There's some jewels. Oh, there's a big skull. Look at that thing. There's a big skull right here. It says, do not touch the skull. You can kind of see out into the watcher step. What is that? That was the hard one. What was that? Oh. What's that? Turn back. Oh. Turn back. Okay, there's a bridge. Ooh, they know my name. Who is that shaking and vibrating? Bottomless pit, Dad, so be careful. Turn back. Turn back. Oh. Aliens from Planet Vulcan are going to get you. Aliens from Planet Vulcan? Back to the future. Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, aliens from Planet Vulcan are going to get you. Aliens from Planet Vulcan are going to get you. Oh, look at this. Oh, here's uh, Black Bart's cave. His loot is down in here. There's an evil Knievel lunch box in there. We hit the drag pod. There's an evil Knievel lunchbox over there, Dad. There's a valuable thing in there. More danger ahead. I think aliens from Planet Vulcan are going to get us. Say your prayers now, varmint. You're done for. Treasure, they'll never escape. Can, can be like they're going through the mouth. You may have found my treasure, but you'll never escape. Going through the middle of this skull's head, there's the beating heart. Right there, there's a beating heart right there. Look at that thing. There's the beating heart. There's only one way out, and it's up the mine shaft. Oh! Look up there. There's someone right there. We gotta climb up the mine shaft to get out of here. Help us! Actually, we can just walk out here, but it's a pretty good illusion. All right, I have purchased a magnet and a t-shirt. Now this area here is a splash zone. You may get wet if you walk out here onto the plank. And stand right here in this section. But you get a pretty good view of them diving right off of there. Splash down. Down the bottom floor is a gold and silver mine that you can walk through. Don't mind if I do. Maybe I can find some treasure in here. In the gold and silver mine. There's like even places you can eat down here as well. Oh yeah, it's like an eating area down here as well. Oh, is this a... Oh! Look at this! Right here is wearing a fair faucet shirt. This is pretty neat. There's a whole eating area down here too as well, which I never realized existed. It's also interesting that this is ten dollars to play. I thought, I thought it was a dollar, but ten dollars to hear what Assayer Joe has to say. That's uh, yeah. Must be very important what he has to say. Maybe that's how he could afford that fair faucet shirt. Whatever you do, do not push that down. That right there could be very, very dangerous. And this leads directly back out to where the divers are. Now, it's like some of my family's up here in between the water over here. I don't think they see me. I'm in the skies, the wave. And there's even tables up here behind the waterfall. Never realized that or I had forgotten 
but there are tables behind the waterfall itself where the divers take place. You can kind of see out there the backside of water. Now heading down the staircase. Oh, look at this. Even more eating areas down here. You can kind of walk through. There's like a whole other section with stalactites and stalagmites. How do I not remember any of this? Or maybe this wasn't like this last time. It's like a maze through the cavernous area. I love it. Oh, love this place. This almost kind of reminds me of like an Indiana Jones area down here. Look at this. You got some snakes over here. sea area right here. You got the pearl down in here and it's inside this little cavernous area. It's almost like a submarine of sorts. Pull that lever. And up top is a volcano. Was that Cartman up there? Cartman, Cartman is up there. All right, we're making our way up to the Cartman table. A little South Park Easter egg, if you will. And I suppose there's a bunch of those around here. But obviously the most, look at this little area. This is a little porch. There are a lot of eating areas here. This whole place, out of order, out of order. There's so many different table areas here. You can't go through here though. There's a little winding staircase down. And this is kind of the entrance exit out right there. And there is a line to meet Cartman over here. Look, there's a, there's a, line, there's a queue line to meet Cartman. I mean, I can understand why. He's got the flag up. He's ordering another order of sopapillas right here. He goes crazy for sopapillas. Yeah. He's craving them? He goes crazy. He goes crazy for them. All right, we're going to get a photo here, the three of us. Oh, oh, he just talked to us. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Okay, now heading upstairs past the root beer cantina, or to the root beer cantina, the game room, arcade gallery up top and you get a pretty good view over the whole area from down here waterfall and all yeah there is a full-on arcade in here a wheel of fortune a lot of classic games please no running going through casa bonita looking down into denver there you got a piano the gallery ahead right, even got some galaga and this pac-man Classic vintage games here as well. And even some new ones like Ice Walker over here. And Super Bonus. Turn on all lights, Super Bonus. Oh, SpongeBob. Oh, this is good. Look at this. It's like something out of Showbiz Pizza or Chucky. Look at that Showbiz thing over there. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, spitting back over here at the gallery. Harness. I don't know. You got the skunk. Right here, you got the bell, you got the vulture, you got the dunk, you got the donkey over there, and you got this guy, which yeah, looks like something out of like showbiz pizza. He's sitting, he's sitting still now. Oh, the chicken just laid an egg. I think the chicken just laid an egg over there. The donkey is now talking as well. And I'm just waiting for the bartender to serve up a drink. Oh, what is the donkey saying? Oh, the, uh, the piano is playing a golf. The skunk just let some steam off there. Yeah. We have a Big Bertha in here as well. Check out Feed Big Bertha game. You don't see these too often. There's one of these at Old Town in Kissimmee, but yeah, you don't see too many Big Bertha games. We feed Big Bertha. Yeah, they do in fact have a root beer on tap bar, fountain root beer bar in here as well. So it is a real thing where they would serve you yeah, instead of sitting on a bar stool, you sit on a saddle, a rows of saddles. Got risk over there. All the arcade games, some prizes. Here's the Bandito waiting for you nightly. The water, the water, the water. I haven't seen the bandito though. It'd be cool to see him. That was it. My return to Casa Benita. Someone just walked up and asked if they were open and they said reservation only. They're pretty lucky to get in there. It'd be cool, but it completely opens up to anyone that makes an appearance and wants to go in Casa.
I need to oh, show the merchandise here. Here we go. Casa Bonita. Success. Had a good time in there, and once you get done eating, they allow you to walk around, see the puppet show, walk through the pirate cave, go to the arcade, watch the cliff divers. They don't make you leave once you're done eating, which is nice. They clear your table off, can't go back to your table, but then you can just walk around wherever you need to walk around, see what you want to see at your own leisure. And that's gonna do it. Let me hold this up, just in case. Yeah. I should show the shirt too, I'll show it at the end. But that's gonna do it for today from Colorado, Casa Benito on the outskirts of Denver. In fact, you can see when you're over here, you can almost, I can't see it from where I'm standing, but when you're driving over, pretty close to seeing the, the downtown area sky, the sky view, what do they call that? The, uh, not the skyscrapers, the, the cityscape. I'm drawing a blank on what it's called, of downtown Denver, over in Lakewood. I'll see you in the next video. Super awesome to be in there. Food was, eh, experience, top notch. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. And this is the shirt I got. I got the orange font on the dark blue shirt. And I got a little magnet here. You got a shirt too? Oh yeah, I'm wearing it. Oh. I like that you still have the tag on. Yes. What did you, did you did it live up to your expectations? Yeah, it was way better. Way better than your expectations. Everything I wanted and so much more. There was a lot of uh, Matt and Trey uh, voices in there too. Yes, there Some was. of the in the haunted in the haunted area. That was good stuff. Magical. Oh yeah, a couple other things that were kind of said in rumors online. One of them was you couldn't get refills in the Sopapillas. That is not true. We got refills. And they also said you're not allowed to tip anyone inside. That is also not true because we tipped and they accept tips. So two things that I were heavily in the rumor mill online. Not sure. Oh, I didn't even realize they have the signs there. So papillas are back, the cliff divers are back. And this kind of is like a good ending here because take a look at the sun over there setting off in the distance. Beautiful. I kept, what's that? Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mark. I kept looking for Trey and Matt in there. Never saw them. They might have been in there. They're probably washing dishes in the back. Or maybe they maybe they weren't in there. They probably just not They're in there. They're doing the magic show. Too. They probably do the magic. I was kind of thinking they'd be in the puppet show, and that's why I couldn't film it. Or the puppet show. Yeah. But they weren't doing the puppet show. The puppet show. Highly recommend the puppet show. Awesome. All right, one last photo. Of Cartman here, not finishing his food. Or maybe those are his seconds. Probably seconds. I can see why though. He just loves those sopapillas. I wonder if he eats them with honey or not.